For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie. And I had a really hard time naming this video. By the time you see this, I've totally settled on a title, but I just wanted to let you know that we're gonna be talking about kind of just ways to make packing and travel a little bit easier. What are those products or methods that you can have or use that just makes the whole travel process less of a headache? I know a lot of people struggle with packing and knowing what to pack and what is the best products that you should be using for X, Y, and Z. So hopefully this helps answer some of those questions. So the first hack that I have for you is to always have a first aid pouch packed and ready to go. Now this can be filled with things to suit your needs. For me, it's things like allergy medicine or pain reliever, anti-inflammatory, whatever. Maybe some Pepto, maybe some Dramamine, depending on what we're gonna do on our trip. But for me, this is absolutely always packed. I mean, there's cough drops, there's some Benadryl. Oh, Band-Aids, that's another good thing to throw in here. So whenever we're going on a trip, it's already ready to go. It has everything that we could possibly need. And then we just throw it in our suitcase. This is just something that over the years and traveling a lot has taught us that you always wanna have products like these ready to go. And so this just takes the thought out of that in your packing process. Once you build this little first aid kit, it's very easy to just throw it in your bag and go. And then every time I'm unpacking, I typically look inside of this and I'm like, what do I need more of? And I'll repack the first aid kit so that it's ready to go for the next time because I've looked at it recently, I know what I'm out of. So this has been something that's been really, really helpful for us along the way and is definitely a part of packing that gets extremely overlooked. So sticking along the same lines, keep your travel cosmetic products in your case of choice. Now I have two here that I wanna talk about specifically. This is always packed with essentials that I take with me every time. So we have a travel size moisturizer, an oil, we have a heat protectant cream, we have a razor, we have a lip balm, I have a clip that I use when I curl my hair, I have several different ponytail holder styles, I've got a small nighttime moisturizer, a setting powder, some floss, and these are things that live in here at all times. There's also a section up top that has dry shampoo, contact solution, Q-tips, you name it, hairspray. So then when it comes time to pack, I have all of my travel size products already in here. So the only thing that I need to pack are like my makeup brushes that I don't have double of and my actual makeup that I don't have trial size versions of. So as I'm getting ready, the day that I'm going on a trip, I'll use those makeup brushes and then as soon as I'm done, rather than putting them back into my little holder, I'll stick them into this cosmetics bag. So then you're packing while you're getting ready the day of your trip. So things are just a little quicker, a little bit more efficient. And again, I use the same mentality at the end of a trip. I look inside of here and I'm like, okay, what did I run out of while I was on that trip? Do I need to add a cleanser? Do I need to add a moisturizer? Did I use up that trial size? And then I just repack in the moment while I'm putting it away. Now, I've done an entire video packing this specific cosmetics case before, and this one is my ultimate favorite. I think that a good cosmetics case has three different features. One of them is a zipper pocket on the top, the second is a place for your makeup brushes, and the third is a big open container that's kind of a catch-all for everything. Toothbrush, retainer, makeup, all the other products that I've previously named. And this is definitely what I use for longer trips. This is my most preferred method of cosmetics packing. But I recently got this cosmetics case from a brand called Case Up. It unfolds into these three different sections. And you'll see that it has my three qualifiers for a good makeup case. You have a zipper pocket right here. You have a place for your makeup brushes with a flap to cover them up. It also has a slide in pocket back this way and another zipper pocket. That's where I typically keep the bigger pieces of makeup. And then down here you have a bigger zipper pocket where you can put all of your other like nighttime skincare routine, toothbrush, toothpaste. Now this for me is perfect when I'm taking a really short trip. For work, I travel almost weekly for like one to two days at a time. And this has really been perfect for that. I recently went on a work trip and I wanna show you how much I can actually fit into this case. I think you'll be surprised. Here's a better look at everything. So again, this is pretty much everything that I would put on my face or anything related to contacts. Makeup brushes here and then inside is all the makeup and up here is kind of the odds and ends. But one thing I will say about this is that this is not something that I would have brought with me on that two week vacation that I took because you can't really fit a whole lot more than just your necessities, which is not a problem. And because I take so many like one and two day trips, I think that this will be really good for that. 
I also really like that it's hard sided. Everything kind of zips up nicely. Zips up separately in its compartments here. And then it just kind of folds in on itself like this. If you feel like, oh gosh, Maggie, this is not gonna zip, it's actually like too thick, as you can see from the sides here, it actually does a pretty good job of adjusting. So you'll see I'll be able to zip this up, no problem. I don't have my tripod with me or anything, so I couldn't show you me actually zipping it, but here it is. And so now that you've seen the demo of packing this case, I'll also link the video where I packed that entire cosmetics train case so that you can see how much product that one can actually fit to and figure out which one is better for your needs. Everybody has their preferences. Okay, so the next tip that I have for you is use products in a multitasking fashion. And specifically, I'm talking about with your packing cubes. Now, these are these little packing pods from a brand called Turtle. And they sent me three different sizes of them. This is the smallest size. This right here is the medium. And then they have a much larger size right here. Now, these can be used like traditional packing cubes. You could fold your clothes up, put them in here, and have them all separated but they're this very unique triangular shape. So for me, packing in these is a little different. You definitely have to get used to the shape of these and how they fit together in your suitcase, but they work the exact same way. The cool thing about these though is because they're shaped like this and they have these little straps on the end, you can actually take these with you throughout the day. So we found ourselves in Croatia and Greece actually using some old packing cubes that I had as kind of our day packs when we went kayaking and when we went somewhere else. Oh yeah, on a catamaran throughout the day. So we threw a towel in there, our sunscreen, our IDs, anything that we would need into just like one little pod because I didn't want to bring my nice purse and I didn't want to bring an entire backpack. So we just carried around something like this and it was really, really handy. If you have packing cubes, know that when you're staying in one place for a long time, you can always take the clothes out and use these as some sort of day pack. And another cool thing about the fabric of most packing cubes is that you can wipe them down. So if maybe you store your shoes in them for one trip, but the next trip you wanna use it to store your shirts or something, you can wipe them down with some sort of disinfectant wipe so that you don't get all your shoe germs on your clean clothes. So these packing cubes have been really cool. They're actually called packing pods, and I'll put a link to these in the description box below. So while we're on the topic of multitasking products like those packing pods, I also wanna give a shout out to our international plug adapters because these can also be used on domestic trips. Brian and I, we each have one of these and we got these on Amazon. They have a bunch of different countries plugs on the side. So most recently we were traveling within the EU and so I would just use this top plug here. You press down and it actually shoots out the exact type of plug that you need for that country. So rather than having a bunch of different plug adapters for several different countries, you can just have everything all in one. Another thing that I like about this is that it also has room for for four different USB cords. And this is my tip and why this is technically a multitasking product because even though this has you know, different ways for you to connect plugs for different countries and works wonderfully when you're abroad. It's also a really good thing to bring with you because you never know how many available outlets you're going to have in a hotel room. So bringing something like this along just lets you rest easy that you're gonna be able to charge all of your devices because I typically travel with headphones, an iPad, my phone, my Apple Watch, all those things have to be charged and so I can charge all four of those things in this one plug. This is also nice if you're traveling with someone else and maybe you don't have to charge those four things every night. At least two people have room to charge their phones and their watches or what have you. So this is just maximizing the plug space in your hotel room even if your trip is domestic. It doesn't have to be international for you to take this thing along. I also wanna mention something that's very specific to products that I have. Now, I have Away Luggage. It is my favorite luggage. I think I've made umpteen videos about this brand. I am not sponsored by them. I just truly, truly love their products. And within each suitcase comes this laundry bag. Genius idea because obviously as you travel, you collect dirty clothes along the way. The laundry bag size grows with the size of the suitcase. This comes from their smallest size luggage, so it's designed pretty small because you're probably not packing that many outfits. But I'm somebody who can actually fit a lot into a suitcase. And so oftentimes all of my dirty clothes don't fit directly into this dirty clothes bag. So rather than not using it or collecting other bags along the way, what I'll do 
is pile all of my dirty clothes into one section of my suitcase and drape this bag on top of it, kind of tuck it into the side so that dirty clothes are not touching my other clothes. And it still is protecting your clean laundry from your dirty laundry. You're just kind of reinventing how you're actually using the laundry bag. So don't feel the pressure to actually fit all of your clothes in this, even though most of the time they can if you're packing like moderate amounts of clothes, but that's just been a handy tip for me without accumulating a lot of other bags along the way if things are not particularly smelly or wet or something. Another cool thing about these bags is that you can throw these in the machine and just wash them with your dirty clothes when you get home. So they don't always have to smell bad like dirty clothes, which is really, really nice. Earlier I mentioned the packing pods and those came from a brand called Turtle and so does this travel pillow. Now I got a couple of questions about this when I was packing for our trip to Europe. That was the first time I'd actually used this pillow. So cool things about this are that it's extremely streamlined. You don't have to blow it up and deflate it every time you want to use it or put it away. It's not just a big cushy neck pillow that's really hard to stuff into your backpack and takes up a ton of space. It's just really flat and easy. It does have a very interesting design. It wraps around your neck in kind of an interesting way, but the idea is that this wraps around and provides support so that you can actually just sleep on your side like this. Now, another cool thing about this is let's say I'm not tired, but I'm traveling with Brian. That guy is 6'4 and I am 5'1. We are wildly different sizes, but this pillow can work for both of us because it's actually adjustable. If I turn these knobs right here, you can actually see the level changes. If I crank it this way, did you see how it expanded? And if I crank it this way, it expands down. So it really just depends on what angle you want your neck to sit at while you're sleeping with this pillow. For me, this is much better for short-term sleeping situations. I try to use this on our long haul flight from New York to London. And for me, my neck just doesn't like to be in one position for that long. And so I was having to like wake up to actually transfer it to another side. Wham, wham, woe is me, I know. But it does work if you just wanna take like a one hour nap or something. That's how I found it to be the most useful. Also, I forgot to pack like an eye mask and the one guy on the plane that left his TV on the entire time was like right in my direct eye line. So at one point I just wrapped this thing around my head and my eyes to block the light and it did a great job with that too. It definitely is helpful and it took up barely any space in our backpack, which was nice. So if you're looking for a new travel pillow that's really slim and easy to pack, this could be a really good option. Next up, arguably my favorite travel companion and these happen to be travel wallets. Now I'm showing you two, but they're virtually the same thing. This is the first travel wallet that I ever owned. I bought this from the brand Dagny Dover. I have a small travel purse that I use from them. It's like a blue leather and my everyday wallet comes from them. I think their products are just so high quality. They're top notch, they're simple. I just love them. And so this was really such a lifesaver on our recent trip. In the back here, you have a little card slot and that's where I would keep my ID, mostly because that's something that I had to reference very quickly all the time. Then on the inside, it has this perfect little pocket for you to slide your passport. It has areas for you to keep cash right here. And then on the outside, it has plenty of different card slots for whatever you may need. This was also really good for keeping bag tags and different things that you need to keep up with when you check your bags. I just loved having this easily accessible in the airport with all of the important documents that I needed to get through customs, to get through security. I highly, highly recommend a wallet like this. Just having like a separate passport cover still leaves you with a need to have a wallet and places to put your cards just to ensure that things aren't falling out. So I really prefer to have things all in one place. Also wanted to go ahead and mention this one because this is one that I got in a recent subscription box. This came from Causebox and you can keep your passport over on this side, cards right here, your boarding pass or something right here, and additional card slots over on the right hand side too. So if you don't have a travel wallet and you're somebody that's been looking into different subscription boxes, I highly, highly recommend Causebox. I cannot believe that a product that I just recently found that I love so much came as an option in the fall box. I can actually get you 30% off if you use the code this or that 30 at checkout. I'll leave a link in the description box below to my recent cause box unboxing. I was extremely impressed. This was one of the customization options and I wanted to mention it in this video because it's only available for the fall season. If you were interested in a travel wallet, this is an easy way to get one and also get a ton of other good products for about the same price that I paid for this Dagny Dover one. But either way, 
Travel wallets are a must for me. I absolutely love them. Cannot say enough good things. And I intentionally saved this next little tip for last because you have heard me talk about this product ad nauseum. So if you wanna turn this video off right now, completely fine, I get it. But I cannot have a travel video without mentioning my favorite travel backpack. <laughs> this is one that I got off of Amazon. And my tip here for you is to get a backpack that can both be on your back and on your luggage straps. This was so handy, especially because recently when we traveled, things were very, very hot. And when you have a backpack on, you tend to just sweat through your clothes. So it was so nice to be able to turn this horizontally and fit this over the handle of my rolling luggage. I love, love, love the functionality of this backpack in general. It opens like a suitcase so you can actually fit a ton of products. It has a lot of hidden compartments, a ton of different pockets that are easily accessible to you when you're on the plane so that you don't have to open this thing up like a suitcase to access everything. I've talked about this so much. I'll link all the videos where I've ever talked about this and shown you the details of it because it really is so useful. And I've heard from some of you that have picked this thing up that you entirely agree. It's also crazy how evenly it distributes the weight on your back. So even if this thing is packed completely full, it's not too heavy. But let's say you do overpack it. Again, you have that ability to just use this strap here to rest it on top of your suitcase so that you're not carrying something so heavy on your back. So, so I hope that this video helped you learn how to pack a little bit more efficiently and you got introduced to some of my favorite travel products, some of them being multitasking so you don't even have to buy all that much to get a lot of use out of these products. So if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.